You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the March 6, 2023 meeting of the Michigan City Fire Merit Commission. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Should get it going? Yes. Okay, I make a motion that we uh, t table the election of officers indefinitely until we have a full quorum. Second. Uh, motion on the floor it has been seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. Okay, approval of the minutes from uh, February's regular meeting. Uh, someone like to make a motion to accept that? and. Uh, I make a motion that we uh, accept the minutes of the February 6, 2023 meeting. Second. Those opposed? Motion carried. Next, the communication and claims. Uh, let's see. What have we, have we got anything? Communications? Chief? Well, you have to go through a list. Well, I'm talking about oh, We don't have that. Nothing. <laughs> Nobody's communicating with us. Okay, how about representative of the city uh, council he's representative? not present. <laughs> no, he's not either. Uh, representative of the commission attorney. I don't have a report. You don't have a report? Mm -hmm. Okay, report from the union. Uh, not necessarily a report, but me and the chief uh, as deputies had a meeting on Thursday uh, to discuss some things. And one of the things that was brought up was the uh, changes we're looking at, trying to do to the merit uh, ordinance. Okay. Um, so we're trying to get a date together. I've talked to the guys on the committee, uh, we're trying to figure out a date to get set up with the chief's office. Is that some of the stuff that we talked about a month or two ago? Probably. Some of it? Yeah. There's some things out. I don't know if I'm not, I don't know about specifics. Right. But we, the reason why it's taking so long is like our committee, you know, life in general gets in the way, so we gotta you know, move appointments around or uh, it takes meetings. Time. But we've come up with some changes. Uh, so we wanted to have all of our changes in order before we met with anybody. So we're not spending forever going through back and forth. Back yeah, forth. right. So uh, we're pretty much got about one meeting left. So we're going to try to do that. Probably talking to the chief. We're going to try probably for next week. Uh, if not, I'm hoping within a couple weeks at the at the latest, and then we'll. You know. Does that have to be okay through the common council also? Some of that stuff or just through here. Well, we're going to have to, and that's why I was going to try to find out because we kind of had a, a discussion on how that was going to go. Like, we're not exactly sure who it's going to have to go through. We obviously want to include you right. as, the, as the, count, uh, the commission, um, but I'm not exactly sure who all we have to get it approved through. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm sure the council, board works, probably everybody. Probably. It's going to be imagine. official. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we definitely wanted to get together, see what changes they wanted to make, what changes we want to make, and, you know, yeah, and then include you guys to check it out how we want to set that up just let me know we we are getting somewhere beautiful so my apologies for being late as far as the council for what uh we're uh, uh changes of the uh we're, we're looking at changing trying to change things in the merit ordinance oh yeah um and who all it would need to go through because knowing that i don't think they necessarily make the changes mm -hmm. we obviously but we don't want to leave them out you know what right. i mean because they're going to have to know about it all also <laughs> But who actually approves that? Would it be the Board of Works or the Council or both? It's the Council. Is it the Council? So previously when we went through this, when I was liaison um, before, I just worked with the fire, with the, the Commission and firefighters on what they wanted changed. And, and then I um, drafted a, a, an amendment to the ordinance and brought it to the Council. Right. And then they okayed it? They yeah. went through that way? Mm -hmm. So is that considered, that's not considered a workshop then, is it? We just... We don't have to. If you have recommendations, yeah. but if there, if there, um, if there are recommendations that I believe that there may be some pushback, I will call the workshop just okay. so that they can understand what we're trying to we do. We bring those to you, mm -hmm. and then you would handle yeah. it from there on. So yeah. I mean, with our, with us, yeah. behind you. Yes. For next year. Yeah. Okay. That's what we assume. For sure. I know from my uh, for my uh, appointment. It says in the ordinance it's a three-year term. I'm actually appointed to a four-year term. I've confirmed that with the clerk. They apparently, years back, they set it up so it's all staggered, so our terms don't end at the same time. So I'm four years, not three, what it says in the ordinance. All right. Well, some language needs to be changed. 
unless you're appointed by the mayor. Then well, you, unless you're you appointed. You go on until, you, until the next mayor don't like you. Well, the council can get rid of me if they want to, but I hope they don't. I cry. Anyway, okay, is there any other, th anything else? Are you done? Yeah, I, do. I have a question. Sure. Um, and I don't know, we got, we got to talk about this the other day, not anybody specific asking, but as far as the uh, new uh, applications, when was the cutoff date for that? I can't remember. <coughs> like April 30th, was it? Yes. Right. It was April. <coughs> that's, what I, that's what I wrote down, it was April 30th. That's what I thought. You about that earlier. And, and was there a test date set up, or was you going to no, look at that? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let me make sure the cutoff for the uh, applications. I wrote down April 30th cutoff date. That's that's what I thought it was. All right, thank you. How many do we have applicants? Do we oh, have? I have that. That's, I thought we wouldn't know that. Roughly. Last I was told nine, but I know that's good. That's, that's yeah. one. Yeah. Unless you guys have to plan. Mm -hmm. I know the Lincoln Township Fire Department had a recent shakeup. I think they lost, had to let go of three members down in Fish Lake. And I want to try to recruit from them if they're interested in hiring in. So. Well, it depends what they were shook up about. <laughs> well, it was kind of some organizational thing. You might not thing. want somebody else's dirt. <laughs> well, that, that can always right. be free to apply. No, I realize that. Yeah. Well, they're volunteer also. <clears throat> yeah. So. yeah, they're volunteer, right. Yeah. Okay. They might, appear, they might be too old. Um, yeah. Oh. Just like I'm, 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 yeah. yeah, okay. I'm done with that. That was just those two things. Yeah. Uh, like Union President Taylor stated, we, we met with him last week and we're moving forward and all that. And hopefully, going to meet next week. So, uh, I'd like to officially state the uh, retirement now of Captain David Nespo with 34 years and thank him for his service to the city. And he was a dedicated firefighter. I worked with him for quite a few years. Also, the official retirement of driver operator Alan Craigbaum. He had 32 years. Uh, I'd like to thank him for his service. I worked with him quite a bit uh, throughout my career. Uh, both dedicated guys, and we thank him for their service. Uh, with those two promotions, and we, or I'm sorry, with those two retirements, we made a lot of promotions, as of you guys uh, did last month. We brought in uh, Joe, brought up Joe Gumption from, to a driver operator. Anthony Sohobiak promoted to captain. William Sontag was promoted to lieutenant, Jacob Rizzo was promoted to lieutenant, and Christopher Zabudis was uh, promoted to driver operator also. Um, just wanted to restate that. This is all official now. As of 20, uh, I think it was the 22nd to 23rd of the month. Everybody satisfied? Yep, I believe so. Any it's complaints amazing. from the union? No. I think we, we covered all the promotions there. Um, I'm going to read our call list. And anniversaries next. So our incident breakdowns for the month of February 2023 was five fires. Those were confirmed fires, actual fires. Uh, rescue emergency medical calls 270 hazardous condition, three non-fire hazardous conditions, uh, four service calls, 40 good intent calls, four false alarms, and false call. And we were uh, we used Narcan on five different calls in the city. Our uh, March anniversaries. Our assistant chief Howard Fuller with 39 years, Captain Dennis Watman with 34 years, Captain Darren Kalitha with 20 years, Deputy Chief Mike Jesneski with 20 years, Lieutenant Shannon Borders with 11 years, Driver Operator Jason Weiss with 11 years, Driver Operator Sean Baker with 9 years, Driver Operator Kyle Nyland with 5 years, Firefighter Joshua Hughes with 3 years, Firefighter Victoria Armstrong with 3 years, and firefighter Scott Manns with two years. Um, I'm going to give you an update. Uh, we have the three probationary firefighters attending the Matt Career Academy right now. Uh, they have just started their fifth week, and we got some reports from the uh, instructor down there. Uh, he gave us a first week report. Everybody made it to class, no problems. Now that he's got to know them a little bit. Uh, this was a report on the fourth week. Uh, they have all passed hazmat awareness operations. They seem to be enjoying the academy and are thriving with the physical aspect of it. So everything's going good. Um, they have covered aspects of the SCBA, basic hose lines, building construction, fire dynamics, ropes and knots and tools, and all are doing well. Uh, the four applicants that are in the process <coughs> to be hired have made it through Public Safety Medical and the local pension board, and we are now awaiting the Indiana Public Retirement Systems for their authorization to hire them. So they should be getting with me any day. I, I was hoping today, uh, hopefully this week sometime. Um, um, 
a little bit of new business. I hope we can do this without uh, Commissioner Mike Nile here, but we'll see. I'll, I'll word it and see what you guys think. So the department has a captain with a projected retirement date of 3-30-2023. I ask that you make a motion that upon the retirement of this captain on 3-30-2023, you promote the next person on the captain's list and all the openings that will be created from that promotion. Without the list, I, I, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I'd like to get this done ahead of time, um, like we did last month, mm -hmm. these other promotions that I stated. So if there's any way we can word that and make it happen, I mean, if not, the next meeting is going to be a week after that. So I'm not that concerned with it. You know what I mean? It's going to be, it's not going to happen until 3.30, the end of the month. Our next meeting would probably be 4 or 5 or something. I don't know. I have to so it's up to you guys. Well, um, we have a quorum. We can vote yeah, it. As far as I'm concerned, it's all right. I mean, you know it's up to you guys. Yeah. Well, make a motion to promote the, move the promotion list on up to the next uh, firefighter. Next um, number. Second. Second. Okay. Thank you. Um, along I, I would suggest, can you just make it a little bit more detailed? Yeah. 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 Well, the captain's the captain position is in that, uh, the, hmm? depending the on who's on the right? list, oh, so the yeah. lieutenant that's on the list, then his position can open up. And that's going to open up. I'm um, saying at least state the highest position and yeah. the rest will fall in. I like, make a motion to, upon the retirement of the, the, the captain yeah. that we make the, the next lieutenant, the, the Promote the captain, lieutenant to captain. Might not be a lieutenant. You just have well, to whoever's, say, whoever's on whoever's the next promotion list. Right. I don't know this. And they're so forth. Yeah. Right. Qualified. Yeah. And then, uh, sorry, you guys don't that. What All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. And then, I, else and then also Coach. along with that, uh, upon the retirement of this individual. I'd like the merit commission to start the hiring process on the next person on the list. To replace him. advancement, you mean? To, no, to replace him. Okay, well. Uh, whoever's on your hiring list. Right. We need to start that as of 3.30. Upon it, we've got two room. left, I think, if I'm right. I am not, I think so, two or three. Uh, we had three, and I think we're down to two. So if you could just. I'll you get that make done. a motion to move the next uh, member on the promotion list up to replace on the hiring list to promote the next it's it's just, uh, I, would, uh, I would like to, the merit commission would make the motion to start the hiring process for the next person on the list so moved <laughs> second second those opposed motion carried uh, real quick old business I spoke with IT I don't remember which one of you brought this up to our attention somebody brought up to the attention that the address on the Michigan City website was incorrect stating where the merit commission meetings are. Right. So I talked to her, and uh, IT is going to get that changed. So they will put the 2510 East Michigan Boulevard address on the on the website, so that everybody knows we're here, not at City Hall. Um, that's it for the chief's office. Is there any other old business? How about new business? Everybody get their emails. New email. <laughs> I, I'd just like to state this is Councilwoman Angie Eichen Nelson. She is now the liaison for us. Oh, beautiful. So, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I told you. Does that mean <laughs> Angie. Yes. Hi. Okay. Any other new business? Uh, public comments. Steve? Okay. <laughs> uh, commissioner's comments. Well, I just want to support Local 475 and Captain Barrett Taylor, even Chief Legault, in getting our contracts back opened up so we can benefit from the lit tax. I know the LaPorte County Sheriff's Office, they're starting out at $4,000 more. Uh, they were starting out at like 52000 now they're getting fifty six, And after a year, they get uh, promoted to a full deputy, and they get 65000 So... <laughs> <laughs> that's, we get four that's thousand. County, this is Michigan City. Yeah, I know, but I think, think that's we, we ought to get something similar to that. Uh, I think also I know the, the non contract city employees, they just started at the beginning of last year. They're getting an extra paid vacation day for the month during their birthday. If we can throw that in, maybe that would be a good thing. <laughs> I, I've read the contract. I think you guys get nearly enough vacation days to spend off with your families. 
I also want to know we're going to, 630, we're tipping off a basketball game down in the port. Michigan City High School is playing for a sectional. I mean, if they, they're triumphant, you know, this will be their first sectional championship since 1995. It's a long time between drinks. We may give them a fire escort on their way back onto town. And um, I know Saturday we're going to be hosting the regional, as we always do. And the following week, we're actually going to start hosting the semi-state. We got that for this year and next year. So you know, it's going to be a busy traffic day along Paz Road in the next two Saturdays. So that's something we need to, to look out for. And I have to provide some service for whatever. And, and that's it for me. Any other comments? Okay, make, somebody make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Those opposed? My favorite motion. Motion to adjourn. See you, ladies and gentlemen, next month. All right. Thank you. Attendance. Attendance.